water depletion of the water table we know that water seeps into the ground and gets stored there we can access this water by digging wells and drawing the water out then the amount of ground water reduces then when it rains again more water seeps in and the ground water is recharged but what happens when we pull out a lot of water and we don't let enough water seep back in the ground water doesn't get completely recharged in fact it just goes on reducing look at all the buildings around you a lot of water is needed during construction all contractors use ground water for this now look at the roads around you they are made of tar or concrete water cannot seep in through these surfaces so we are using up ground water and not letting it fill up what do you think is the result of this the water table has become very very low in the cities now construction is one activity that we discussed that uses ground water almost all the industries that manufacture items that we use need water too even they continuously pump out ground water now think about the farmers how do you think they get water for their crops some farmers depend entirely on the rain but that is very risky and many times they don't get a good yield so many dig wells to get water so they are using up groundwater too what is happening to the groundwater then it's being used up much faster than it can be filled up so the water table is sinking lower lower and lower let's look at the distribution of water we know that we don't have too much fresh water on earth and in addition to that the little that we do have is not equally spread out all over the earth There are some places which get a lot of rainfall. There are some places which have a lot of rivers flowing through which have water throughout the year. There are some places which hardly get any water. These are the arid regions and deserts. So we have floods and droughts at the same time at different places on earth. Let's look at water management. In many places, the city or town has to manage water for its citizens. Most of the times, water is stored in a reservoir and then cleaned and sent around the town through closed pipes. If the pipes are not managed properly, the water leaks out. You may have seen huge amounts of water gushing through leaky or broken pipes. This water is totally wasted after all the effort of storing it and filtering it and distributing it. It is the responsibility of the town management and the elected leaders to make sure something so precious is not wasted. As individuals, we have to make sure that we use water properly as well in addition to the normal water saving techniques we can try to channel rain water into the ground to help recharge the water table watering of gardens and fields can be done through drip irrigation to save water in this water is sent through tubes and it directly falls near the base of the plant We all need to do what we can to make sure we conserve water because 
A world without good water is a world without life. So what did we just learn? As we pull out groundwater, the water table level goes down. Since the rate of recharging of the water table is lower than the rate at which we are using it, the water table level is going lower and lower. Water is not evenly distributed across earth. Since water is so precious, we have to make sure that we manage it properly.